Hello, welcome back. DOT Bear Woodworking here. Um, you're looking, whoa, nice jump, Clive. Nice jump, buddy. Uh, Hi guys, welcome back. Dad's got another project. I'm just happy I'm in the garage with Dad. But yeah, Dad's gonna tell you all about it. So stay tuned, he's got, he's got my truck all. There's that cat. Dad, that cat's out here. Clive, don't worry about it. But, but Dad. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, we are going to get started on this utility uh, jet ski to utility trailer DIY on a budget. Um, a buddy of mine, like I said, he had a couple of these. Um, and he decided he, he bought a jet ski with a nice double trailer. So he's going to utilize that. And instead of just get, getting rid of this one, he asked, hey, on a budget, can you do me a favor? Put me... A utility bed on here so that's what we're going to work on today so stay tuned and uh, we'll get started on this so first thing I'm going to do I'm going to go through and get those removed get those off uh, he said to not like I could take that off if I wanted um, but we'll we'll just see we'll see on that so but yeah first things first we're going to remove those rails and uh, go from there. Uh, Dad, people are gonna ask why you're using non-treated wood, so maybe you should answer that. Okay, Clive. Yes, Clive's right. Um, I should be using treated wood, but the thing is budget. Um, helping out a friend, didn't want to spend a lot of money on it, and so we're, we're working within a little bit of a tighter budget, so um, I was just happy I was able to go to Menards, bought 12, uh, 12 tube of fours and went in the stack. Oh, it was some of the prettiest, looked like logger weight cutting himself straight, not twisted. It was, uh, it was a good find, but so I'm going to slap in one more cross piece there, um, for the decking. We're not going to get too crazy. Um, probably just run some additional two by fours that, down that way like i said we're not we're not going crazy because it's it's just a budget it's for hauling bulk stuff not real fine if we we're looking at uh beauty bark or rock or something like that yeah but he's just interested in hauling some bigger objects on it so uh we're going to kind of keep it as streamlined as we can so um yeah, I'll get one more piece in, and then we'll go through and start attaching it, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So stay tuned. What do you think, Clive? Oh, it looked pretty good, Dad, but I, I still can't get in my truck. I'm kind of stressed. I can't get in my truck. Well, you, all right, there's going to be wood. There's going to be wood in your truck. Plus, you stepped on your thing, and you broke it. Sorry, Dad. I got excited. Uh, but anyway, um, got this attached to the trailer now, the wood frame. I just came along. Oh, I need to put a couple screws in. But there, I tied in, tied in, and then I got an L bracket right there tied in. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's kind of move on and uh, see what we can do for some decking. So stay tuned uh, for more. I'm better now. I'm in my truck and I can see that kitty still. Five leaf cattle. All right, we got the decking all in place. I tell you what, guys, this is, uh, that is solid. That is solid. Um, as you can see, and as Clive's telling us, we are out two by fours. Um, I kind of did my spacing about a two by four distance. So if he ever decides, hey, I want to haul stuff that could fall through this, all you got to do is buy a one, two, three, four, five, six two by fours and slap them down in there. And then it'll be a solid. But like I said, he wanted bigger, bulkier objects. Um, I like this because he's got a Jeep. So it'll allow air to flow through and 
and all that, not be a big sale behind it. So, uh, me and Clive, we're gonna go run into town, um, get us a few more two by fours. Let's see, one, two, three, probably four more two by fours. We'll finish up adding some sides onto this and then a little bit of a drop down gate in the back. But we're gonna run into town and we're gonna get us a few more uh, two by fours. So stay tuned. Clivey's worried about the kitty. Dad, that cat is up there, but I, I stand and watch. All right, Clive. So anyway, stay tuned for more. All righty, folks. What do you think, Clive? Oh, well, I'm okay, Dad. I'm I'm glad I got my truck back. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, 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 oh! You are brutal. You always go for the throat. Always go for the throat. All right. All right. Cool. Well, pretty well got this uh, knocked out. Uh, like I said, this was a budget cargo trailer build. Um, got about 200 bucks into it. Um, so yeah, not bad at all. I mean, you can see I'm pulling up on the thing and pulling it right off its jack and carrier there. Um, but yeah, I mean, axle sits back further, but you know, this being a light trailer, it's going to compensate by putting putting whatever weight to the front on there so had some uh some little hitch hook things Gonna drop down tailgate so you can ease sliding stuff in there but uh yeah like i said it's it's pretty darn pretty darn stout so, like I said, if he decides that, hey, I want to um, want to fill those gaps in, like I said, that's eight foot two by fours. So those four slots right there are pretty well sized, and then the two outer would need to be trimmed down a little bit. But six two by fours, and you've got it. And really, if you wanted to enclose it like completely. I spaced that to before size so that you could even box it in. So, yeah, hopefully he likes it. Uh, hopefully it works out for him. So I'm going to, I think I'm just going to kind of burn the wood the best I can. Just that's kind of my style, my take on things. So, yeah, I'm going to get to burning and, and uh, I don't know what client, what are you whining about? You are an 85 pound baby. You, sir, are a little baby. If you think Clive's a big baby, just comment. But yeah, anyway, back to back to the project. All right, Clivey, we're done, buddy. Oh, Tom, Dad, I I ready for some lunch. Cliver, that's all you do is think about eating. Well, Dad, that is life. Oh, I'm so it does. All right, so we are done with the budget build trailer. Turned it from the jet ski trailer to just a simple cargo trailer for bulk items. Um, that's what he wanted. Said, can you do it for under 200 bucks? I said, I believe I can. So we got it all burnt. Um, and like I said, yeah, we didn't go treated because had to stay under budget. And the way lumber prices are anymore, it's ridiculous. So, yep, just going to kind of clean up a little bit. But overall, I think it turned out all right. So, like I said, it's not perfect for but what for he what he intends to do with it. Um, it's gonna fit. It's gonna work. It is gonna work. So, thanks for watching. Clive, do you got anything to say? Uh, no, Dad. I, I'm just in my favorite spot in the truck. So, all right. Say goodbye, Clive. Goodbye, Clive. 
Thanks, guys.